Roy from Tesla Owners US and today we have a very interesting topic. We are going to a solar charger. Actually it is a whole bunch of solar panels and then made available as a solar charger for people who want to charge at a certain location electrically. And I have heard also that this mobile, we're going to talk to the engineers and how they did it and it would be very interesting about that project. So stay tuned and watch that episode. And by the way, sign up to my channel, click the button and a thumbs up. Talk to you later. Hi, this is Rolf again from Tesla Owners US and today we have that special event and I'm going to show you I'm currently charging from a whole bunch of panels and they are in stored in a container and we have Brian with us. Can Brian, can you introduce yourself and yeah. for who you're working with? Certainly. I'm Brian with Ingenevi. Uh, what we have here is a hive. Uh, just like Rolf said, we're charging his Tesla with some panels and uh, give you a little discussion on what's going on. Okay, we're gonna do a complete review of that. We're gonna go into the hive. It's actually a 10 foot container, eight foot wide. Uh, the next version can even, can even be on a trailer. And we're gonna go into that container and then show you all of the equipment in the container, what you can get out of that, what is in there and so on. So watch that, it's gonna be great. Okay, here we are. So as you see now, there is the, my Model X, which has a trailer hitch and there's a trailer be behind that, which being powered from electricity as well. Uh, it's a little uh, tiny container for living in there, if you could, if you want, right? And here is the Hive. That's the new product from the company. And I will post a link to that as well, what you will see soon. And there are on rollers a whole bunch of panels actually uh, tell me how many there are there's 21 panels here they're yeah placed on a accordion like rack that folds out the ploys from the container and then it would just be a single run of the cable along the side to interconnect them in series in parallel and bring them back to the disconnects at the box great back so let's go around here and then we're gonna look at the car and as you can see the car is our Model X and there is could be on the trailer we don't have it connected yet today and then we go to the hive it's called the hive right correct so and let's get some interesting information about the hive so if Brian could step into that container yeah um, like we said oh. earlier the rack is deployed outside the container. Yes. Currently there's 21 panels, 275 yeah. watts, so we're getting right around 5,800 kilowatt, or 5.8 kW. Yeah, and I heard that you can also fit more into it, right? Correct. It, can get, it can get a little bit larger in size. Yes. Right now this is a 10-foot container. Yeah. So we have half the container filled with panels and yeah. half of it filled with power management and batteries. Yeah. So let's uh, talk a little bit about the power management, what we have here. So. so what we have is two on, the, on that side we have uh, two PV disconnects. Two PV disconnects. They are kind of mandatory, right? Yes. Uh, yeah. NEC mandatory here. Yeah. Next to them is two MPPT charge controllers. Yeah. And they are from Schneider Electric, right? Correct. That is is it a Dutch is it is it a French company or I don't know, the Schneider sounds like a German name. It, it's a German name. <laughs> it's a German name and I wanna say it's a German company. Yeah. Okay, I gotta look it up on the internet <laughs> right. and I link it. So, and what we have basically is from the disconnects to the MPPTs is the DC solar wiring, and then it comes to a mini power distribution box, yep. which is also provided by Schneider, and then it is interconnected with the inverter charger. The inverter charger is the brains of the operation, deciding yep. whether to pass the DC through to the load converting it to AC and sending it across to the, the EV charger or it can select and go towards the batteries. So let's go through the batteries. 
these batteries are currently in the prototype lead acid batteries, but you're going to change it to these batteries, to the uh, E3 element 3 batteries. So one time I showed you an E3 battery for Tesla, uh, and uh, these are bigger battery banks. One of those batteries I heard is uh, two and a half kilowatt, right? Sure. So uh, even with this setup, you will get approximately uh, real good, actually, 10 kilowatt, and you can fit more batteries to it. Did right. I uh, yep. did I know that right? Yes, okay. we can get a larger battery bank. So the real setup for that one, there will be uh, E3 uh, batteries for battery banks for that, 10 kilowatt, 20 kilowatt, 30 kilowatt, whatever you. It's whatever you need. That's yep. you know we have a lot of room to go up here and stack it all up. And you know I like this container system as well because you can build it, pre-build it. Stick it there wherever you want it, and then said, "Hey, here's a 10 by 8 container, and here's all of your equipment. They are ready to go." Yep, they can move right. with you. They can you move, need. and you can pre-build that in, uh, in from, uh, stuff. Correct. Yes. Okay. So let's go around. Here are the conduits, the piping for that. Yep. And this is where the inverter charger sends the AC load over to the load panel. Yeah. Which is then has the. Uh, this is kind of a breaker box, right? If Correct. I understand it's a load it, yeah. panel breaker yeah. box, yep. So, and then this is the disconnect for the AC, right? Is that correct? Yeah, this is the disconnect for a future generator. Ah, okay. So this system can be combined with the generator. So in the days when you don't have solar, yes. and you would like to have power of those days, we can connect a generator to it, barring a disconnect yeah. uh, plug here. Yeah. And it can send power back to the inverter charger which then can charge the batteries or it can service the load. Uh, so the opposite direction, going back here and then go back into storage. Correct. So in case you need it for, uh, for at night. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, perfect. So what is that 15 kWp? What does that mean for you? In, in this case, what yeah. we've done is there was two racks in yeah. this container to begin with. Yes. We pushed out one half of the uh, racking system and we installed the battery and the power management. But you could have a container that has power management in it and batteries solely and then you could bring in a container that has PV and you could connect the two to have a larger capacity or a larger system you know, Great. needs. Now are we on version 2? So the version 2 is another cool thing. Actually what happens there is we're gonna put everything on the upper level. So we put everything higher on the upper level. Yep. So that leaves us room for the lower levels and we can fit more panels to it. So basically also those battery banks are going all the way up probably, right? Correct. So uh, at least how much room you have. Then you have on the upper section all of your electronical elements and the storage and on the lower section is all of these panels, or even more of them, will be all folded in, will be staying here upright. Okay, coming now to the outside. So here we recovered an old uh, blink charger. It's uh, the most suckiest chargers ever. Uh, also the company works with that, but uh, you know, we recovered them and uh, they are doing their purpose for the prototype. So. Here they get explain a little bit. Here is the power coming in from AC. Correct. Is that correct? These are up to up to 30 amp, 240 volt, right? Correct. And, and the second section is now this charger is reduced to 24 amp because they had some problems with the electronics and electrics in there. And but this goes out from here and it goes to your car. So and it connects here and it's charging. Let's check in the car how much is actually charging. Oh, my open, the car opens automatically. So from here, we go into the car and see 236, let me go a little bit closer. 237 volt and 24 amp. And it, uh, if I wanted to have it charged up to 50% or 70% and I need another five hours. Okay, now for the doomsday preppers. So this container is currently steel. So these containers are also available from actually from a company, Mobile Mini, in aluminium. They currently rent them out, but they probably will sell them as well. 
And in aluminium, you bring the whole weight of the system probably down to, let's say, uh, below 5,000 pounds, 4,000 pounds or something like that. Mm -hmm. And that's enough for 20 inch Model X. So what you're gonna do is, you're gonna go around there and connect that whole container system to your Model X. And then you can drive around in the desert or wherever you are, you continuously have energy, cooling, heating, and whatever you need. And as long as the batteries last, and it could be a long time, you have, you can drive around with your car, you have enough electricity energy, and uh, you can also sleep in your car if you want to. So you flap the seats over, put a mattress in there, and sleep in your car. So you will be prepared. We can <laughs> you can take care of that. Yep. So let me repeat your company again. Your company is? In Genevieve. In Genevieve. Yep. Okay. And uh, also E3 belongs to that. Uh, the ba the yep. batteries for that. Part and you family. do a whole bunch of more, more stuff. And I come to you probably again in order to show all of the other stuff what you do as well. Absolutely. We'd love to okay. have you back. Hey, Brian. Uh, let me go from here. Brian, thank you very much for the interview. Thank you, Rolf. And talk to you the next time. Yeah, All definitely. Right. Thanks. Bye bye. Bye.